Hi everybody, this is Jayant Sasam Sethi. We are here with another Hall of Fame uh, finisher. And um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Pixel Test is a community that helps people um, you know, improve their skills in Web3 and uh, artificial intelligence. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, a community member. So Karan uh, is currently in the blockchain silver community and has finished his certification. And previously he was also with us for the artificial intelligence. Uh, so I'm going to bring on Karan right now. Karan uh, has a fantastic background. He is currently working at Mark Sharks, which is an uh, edtech company. Uh, he's a testing engineer there. Uh, the purpose of this session is to understand his journey, uh, what made him, um, you know, upskill and more importantly, uh, develop a passion, etc., uh, into first artificial intelligence and now blockchain successfully. So welcome once uh, once again, Karan. Thank you for your time. Hi, good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening. Thank you once again for, for making the time. I know we've been uh, uh, through a couple of back and forths, et cetera. So cool. So for all the audience working here, uh, uh, sorry, listening to this either on YouTube, LinkedIn, or Twitter, would love to know your background and more importantly, what was your uh, uh, journey like leading up to the time you joined the community. I believe, I think you, you joined in December or January, but then again, you moved to the blockchain piece as well, right? Yeah. It's been uh, uh, around one year. Like initially, I, like how I encounter pixel test, I was, uh, like my background in testing is of three years. I'm a testing engineer. I test uh, Markshox application, which is an tech, tech application. So I was once in a day, I was scrolling down Instagram and I got to have a catch of like uh, ML AI webinar, free of course. So I just joined in and there I met you on WhatsApp group. You was uh, like, there was our interaction over there. And then after I attended the webinar and the life changed after that, it's, yeah. So where uh, basically the game over here is the mindset, like having a successful person mindset, like here we, what we do. Yeah. So initially, uh, uh, so initially uh, after uh, getting into AI and DA data structures, uh, I was, uh, I was a bit clear among these getting edge technologies, both AI and blockchain. I was, in like enthusiast as I do earlier crypto trading. Initially I have done that and made loss as well. So, but I just I was keen into this technology I had in trust. So when sir, uh, sir introduced blockchain community. So I was the like early uh, person to get enrolled and by full faith, uh, like uh, and clarity, I was like, sir told me this thing, this blockchain uh, technology is a, skyrocket thing so i just want to be on that rocket and it's been a very good journey so far yeah awesome so basically you had already been your interest stemmed from crypto trading uh, or you were already familiar with the the wave of crypto so you knew the potential of blockchain and that's what made you uh um, dogecoin doggy coin yeah Elon Musk. Uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I think all of us have, have bought it. I think Dodge has now increased a lot uh, since Musk has taken over Twitter. Okay, cool. So coming back to, uh, circling back to, you know, your journey and, and your profile, um, right? So why did you think, um, you know, upskilling, even as a testing engineer, you're fairly early on in your career, et cetera. Uh, you've been evaluating maybe you know, a, a bunch of, of, of options. You're probably already reading, you know, maybe slightly, uh, uh, maybe slowly or gradually different blogs, different YouTube videos, et cetera. But why did you think that upskilling right now immediately is important? It could be any technology, but why did you feel that? So uh, basically the ad present in these uh, 21st century, like 2022, you like to have a fulfilling and a lucrative job. You have to be on the edge of learning. I believe because the technology is as uh, is moving at a very fast pace, so you have to learn and uh, grab that skill and do uh, like being the technologist, like like technology enthusiast. Yeah. 
Wow. It's very okay. much needed. It's very much needed, sir. Okay. And uh, in a similar phase, if you get to have like uh, you are the some people acquiring these technologies, they are highly paid as well. Good. Yeah. So it's a combination of obviously the monetary benefit, but also the skills, etc. Can you talk us a little bit about your current job and function? Like, what do you do as a testing? I know it's an ed tech, but for the benefit of the audience watching us, up karte kya I mean, abhi like in terms of what, what does your day look like? Okay. Uh, basically, I'm a manual testing testing engineer and simultaneously writing some uh, testing scripts. Got what it. I do, I go through uh, from smoke testing and like uh, an aggregation aggression testing and okay. wholesome testing of the application we have for class six to tenth. Okay. It's an uh, it's an attack thing for math sites. Okay. So it's a, yeah. So uh, I make sure that product is running uh, to the best. And um, people are like any uh, thing is not hanging up. It's like the application is moving smoothly. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, out of curiosity, since you're a full fledged testing engineer, I just want to know what is the volume of people that come for your K twelve uh, like a tech? Like how many? Okay, people basically, yeah. Yeah. Basically, we right now we have more than uh, like lack more than lag downloads on our application as we have uh, we have bifurcated like we have five apps in that and in the combination of that i'm gathering and seeing the total yeah. thank you I, I was curious because i run an ed tech too i just wanted to know the volume etc we don't have testing engineers just yet cool so now then um so you saw the instagram ad etc and then you joined in now can you talk about the shifts the mindset shifts that came in right away uh, that you started experiencing, uh, you know, roughly a year ago, as soon as you came to the community slash courses. Like first lecture of yours was orientation of success mindset. And that's the, 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 that was a big boom for me. And that was a totally, like I haven't seen any motivational and inspirational video like that. And that was my first and there I just got a shift. And I know that I have, what was, I was uh, thinking of, mentor like you I got to have thank you thank you thank you uh, uh, for that yeah I mean I keep saying it all the time and and, and want to say it more so not... there so we uh, over there practices like we like as the it is designed as well as the shift of the mindset is to like being the becoming your version 2.0 and uh, like for that we have tools and tricks Hacks and for that we listen to Earl Nightingale, like Earl Nightingale, the strangest secret by Earl Nightingale. It's a recording of thirty-five minutes on a regular basis. We have to listen and implement wow. that implementation. Wow! And uh, and simultaneously, you have to. I wrote down my goal card and maintain my goal book. Wow! Where I on the daily basis I write twice my goals. And successfully, I uh, completed IIT Madras certification with the pixel test in blockchain. Wow, that's that's phenomenal! You're taking action. That's most important. Um, um, you know, people telling one thing that I'll write goal card every day, but doing it, going through the executing through the actions is very very important, right? Uh, so you've done that, and and kudos to you. You've taken the action and and the right stride. Thank you. Perfect. So that's awesome. And I remember. You, I think, um, um, wanted. I want. I want to talk about the time you had called me once, saying that you know I have to, I have to, I have to arrange from my sister, etc. What was? May I ask if you're comfortable? What was that going on? Because you had you were one of the first people who had taken up the blockchain community as well. What was yeah. going on there? And what was? What? How did you have that high conviction? I have to explore this. So first of all, I totally believe on your concepts, your principles, your fundamentals that uh, like uh, I have seen your journey. I have like scrolled on you as well as like I have, I'm being a good at R&D. So I did my research and uh, parallelly, I just uh, seen another uh, ed tech firms as well, doing the similar course with another uh, IDs. But I believe this was the best uh, piece I have got, like get enrolled. I just made my judgment with the price as well as uh, with the fees as well as and the, the whole course as it was planned 
because we have here like iit madras professor as well as and ta testing like teaching assistants from iit hyderabad and satya bari sir or like padu nand sir from iit madras and satya bari sir from iit hyderabad wow Wow, that's like faculty was too awesome for me, and like I was in the uh, first batch of this course, so I attended lively, and it was a like like it was like a grateful to be there. Thank you, thank. We are grateful that you are here. Like you attended it too, and you took action. Perfect. Now circling back to to those uh, uh, pieces of uh, the course. So what was it that you liked about? you know professor pandurangan's teachings or professor satya peri or sripati um or so on so forth what did you like uh, uh, the most you can share that. basically this technology is totally new and the concept basically the concept they taught in a way i like the most uh, uh, and uh, and as uh, as, as uh, in the ending lectures also like after the pandurangan sir Taken, uh, taken the last lecture. He told, like after completing this course, this this is the type, like this is the tip of the iceberg. If you have to go through this in full fledgedly, like they set the basis. The basics was made clear for uh, Bitcoin ecosystem as well as for Ethereum blockchain and our uh, Hyperledger uh, sort out by Ethereum uh, systems. Yeah, on this. awesome awesome good good to see that okay and then coming back to um you know just talking about people similar to your board um you know when you saw a lot of your peer group as well because you were in the live batch at the time uh, when you saw the rest of the peer group etc what were your you know thoughts in terms of the other cohort members or in terms of uh your experience with with maybe discussions or interactions how did you feel about that sir i feel privileged over there uh, because uh, there uh, there were people from like amazon google and i like i get exposure to interact with them with senior most like there were people like phd holders as well as like we have a good uh, like intellectual people so i feel blessed to with them and having interaction and making projects and accomplishing them good no no good for you that that you you fair in that uh, uh, environment etc and then you're taking action perfect cool and any other uh, um, what would you tell in terms of somebody who's also you know similar to you who's a techy um, you know who's contemplating trying to upskill who's thinking of on the fence what any thoughts you have to share with them karan yes uh, sir i am in uh, can i take the name as well sure yeah, yeah. yeah. so i am uh, in the uh, interaction with interactive with the long terms with this uh, mr baskar reddy the mathematician phd holder mathematician yeah so he is a mathematician in phd the phd holder in mathematician so as this blockchain technology also in we have been taught the basics and it will more our mathematics that is uh, all about modern mathematics so he helped me through that and i was feeling like it was a great uh, part about him like the thing i was not clear i have people around me who helped me and made my concepts clear wow that's brilliant yeah and, i remember and, and, and that could be it can be only happen in a community thing and my, like blockchain community the art blockchain community the, i believe is a good going at its best case wow yeah i remember he's he, he he's from buneshwar i mean he was working as a faculty i think in buneshwar and then he's moved to hyderabad i remember yes he's a math uh, person correct correct great person he his trajectory is also artificial intelligence and then he came to blockchain so yeah i see that shift uh, happening brilliant okay cool and uh, no but coming back to the focus any other thoughts for similar youngsters like you who are looking who are watching this video who are thinking like should i do should i not do or let me do later what are, what are your what is your advice to them my advice is to like uh, at present just enroll into this if you have a, a basic like you have interest or you have something to get to know new things about this technology this technology is the future right? near future i believe and uh, to start with pixel test and, and, and like is the best platform in blockchain technology like blockchain 
and AI as well as I'm sitting next to the AI chief scientist. Yes. Thank so you. So I will just like uh, like say this thing like just join in. Don't think much. If you have you want to be a game changer, and with the uh, success mindset. Good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, those super kind words. All right. So which brings us to the end of the session. Thank you, Karan, once again. Um, you know for an opportunity to share a little bit about your journey, talk about your journey, what your experience is, and the super kind words. And guys, so if you've liked it, um, or if you have any thoughts, comments, just uh, drop them in the comments below. Uh, and please feel free to like subscribe to the channel so that you know you have you know more awesome content coming uh, your way. Thank you, Karan, once again. Yes, yeah, yes. Public, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, Pixel Test. <laughs> yeah, I'd keep following Karan. I think he's going to make it uh, really big in life. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you.